going to show you how to use Loom, a screencasting tool. Now, Loom works as a Google Chrome extension, so it will work on your Chromebook as well as a PC or any other device, pretty much. So, the first thing you need to do is install the Chrome extension, and I'm going to give you the shortcut to this page that will walk you through how to add the extension. Once you've got it added, though, Loom will live up here in your browser as the little blue star symbol. And the way you start to record is you simply click the Loom symbol. That's going to bring up this box over here um, that will give you your options for your video. Now it defaults to screen and camera and as you can see down here in the left um, you've got a little picture of your webcam that's showing you. Now a lot of people are tempted to turn that off but it's always good to use that if you can because it personalizes your video. It gives your students um, a picture of you to connect with. But there's three options here. You can do the screen and the camera, the screen only, or just the camera only. When you do the camera only, you can go, actually go down here and uh, increase the size of the camera as well if you wanted to. You can even make it full screen and make it big. So, once you've decided that, I'm going to go back to screen and camera, you uh, can choose what you want to record. Now, Full desktop means it will record all your desktop, including uh, anything that's not in Google Chrome or anything that's on, a, on different tabs. This is good in case you're going to flip back and forth between multiple tabs during your video. If you know you're only going to record what's on one tab of your browser, you can do current tab. Sometimes that will make your recording go a little smoother, especially on an older Chromebook. Next, you've got uh, your recording for your audio. Now, in this case right now, my audio is turned off. I've got a line through it. If I click that, it will turn it on. And now you can see with this little tool right here, when you talk, that it actually is recording sound. Uh, it should default to your, your webcam, but if it doesn't, you can pick from the list here. At this point, I'm pretty much ready to go, so I can hit Start Recording. Now, what it's going to ask me then is, what screen do I want to record? Now, I have two monitors set up here, which is why it's showing two. But I'm just going to pick the active screen that I want it to record, and I'm going to click Share. It's going to give me a countdown. And now I'm recording. So this is where I can navigate around. I can talk about whatever I want to create for the students and show on the screen. Um, if I want to move this out of the way, I can do so just by clicking it and dragging it. So if there's something down in the bottom left, I can move my picture up here a bit. Uh, you can pause whenever you want to. Um, if you don't like this little box right here, you can hide it. And that's pretty much it. When I'm done, I just go down here to where it's giving me the count, and I click the button, and it will finish that recording. At this point, it will take you to the Loom website. And show you a preview of the video you just did. Now if I hit play, it's going to play that. You'll notice you have a few tools here as well. Um, you can skip forward in your video to check the whole thing out. But you also have the ability to um, to trim the video. So if you wanted to trim a little bit off the front and the back, so I have some dead space here, I can click and do that to trim off the front. And let's say I didn't want this whole section at the end. I can pull here and that will trim that. I can even add more clips if I wanted to make a longer video. Once you're done, you hit Save Changes and it's finished. I can rename it here if I want. And this, is, gets, this gets to the point where you show your students the video. The videos stay on Loom if you want them to and that's good because then you don't have to store them somewhere else. When I click Share, you'll notice I can determine who to share it to or I can keep it here anyone with the link can view and when I say copy link I now have the URL to this video so for example if I open a new tab and I paste in that link I just cop uh, copied and go to it it's going to go directly to this video so that means you can take this your, this URL that you've copied and you can embed that in your canvas or your Schoology if you're in elementary. So this is a way to send students directly to your videos uh, without having to worry about embedding them or downloading them or anything like that. That's pretty much the basics for Loom. There are some other tools but you can play around and find those. Enjoy!